Oh, is this already? When I said it's ro it's running, so apparently it's running. I actually said that in German. I said Lauf John. I would have missed the amount on it. We're here with the um, the Lewitt people. I actually only know Valerie. I don't know anyone else. I don't even know your name. Do I need to know your name? Yeah, probably. What's your name? My name is Roman Pershon. Roman. Yes. You're the man behind things. Yes, yes, I am. So you actually know stuff. I suppose to, yeah. I feel very strange doing this, but with the reporter <laughs> micro, interviewer micro, that's what you do. Yeah, probably you don't need to even because it's an omni characteristic. So you can just keep it the way it is and it should capture us. And what you can also do is you can do this without going clonk, clonk, clonk. <laughs> yeah. It reduces hand noise, it said on the box. Yes, indeed, yeah. But I actually, I got this one without a box because that's my second one. Because the first one was stolen at Musikmesse by a fuckhead and then the really uh, very nice and uh, pretty Valerie, turn the camera around Valerie, come on, <laughs> um, was super nice and uh, sent me a replacement, which then didn't have a box, but it had read the previous box. This is all very pointless. But um, we want to talk about new mics because we know about the, uh, the 340s, which I have many of, and we know about the 640, which is hello, and the 240 and the 440. You don't know, but watch more videos. Um, you have a, an 040, right? Is it yes, 040? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. We are currently introducing two new microphones, LCD 040 Match or 040 Match, we say, and LCD 140 Air. What does LCT mean? LCT uh, means, actually, it's, it, it, it's not a specific meaning behind that. It's you just, just a serious a random <laughs> series of letters <laughs> so that you have... <laughs> At least that's honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not anything clever. It's just we wanted some letters. Uh, we'll, we'll go over to the 40s. All right. <laughs> Follow us, Valerie. Sorry, gentlemen. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to say this. Look how tiny these are! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> this is like Glenn's penis right there. <laughs> he never watches my video, so it's totally fine. <laughs> this is Glenn Fricker penis size. One, two, that's perfect. Yeah, um, actually, it's it's also very lightweight, yet at the same time very whoa. durable. Y there's nothing in here. That's you're, you're you're shitting me. State of the art electronics and uh, acoustically refined instrument capsule that is in there what you said um you could you can have this really far out on a boom and it's not going to weigh down the cable is heavier than that yeah indeed because actually what we did is we we cnc it out of a aluminum uh, block so it's it's a cnc aluminum housing we use and therefore we have this very light weight so this is the smallest sister of the 340, right? Yeah, so to say. Yeah. Um, and w you would use this for overheads? Yes, overheads, guitars, acoustic instruments, strings, wind instruments, snare. Okay, yeah. well, where you would need a small mic. Yeah. Now, where's the difference to the 140 air match? Yep. Match because it's match because of the stereoness. Yes, yes. Stereoicity so. is the word, by the way. <laughs> That's the word, learn that. Stereo stereoicity. Stereoicity. So, so it's a stereoicity microphone <laughs> called LCD 040 Match. And the stereoicity-ness <laughs> comes from actually our, our unique matching process, um, which we developed for production. And it allows us to create perfect couples. Mm -hmm. And then these couples, they... Exhibit. Like Tinder? Yeah, probably even better than Tinder because they all look alike. Okay. Yeah. So they form basically perfect couples with identical frequency curves, and that uh, basically allows you to have a absolute precise localization, room localization, mm -hmm. and an outstandingly great room sound, which is very important for a for a stereo recording because oh, yeah. obviously you want to have two microphones which are really identical. And these are dirt cheap. Aren't they like 100 bucks each? Yeah, actually the single uh, microphone sells for 99 US dollar mm -hmm. and the stereo set for 189 US dollar. And Get in here, Valerie, show these cl close up because they're so tiny. The, 
the stereo set comes with that bridge thing? No, no, the bar is not included, but uh, it ships. Oh man! Ooh. <laughs> but it ships, it ships actually with a, with a snapping microphone clip, the ones you see here, mm -hmm. a transportation bag and a windscreen. So I still have to buy this? Yeah, if for a stereo configuration you, you need to buy this, yeah. Oh man! Okay, fine. At that price, that's fine. So, the next big one is the the, the, the next big one. That's not the next big one. The one... One step higher, bigger microphone between this and the 340 is the 140 and that's called Air. Why? Yeah, actually the LCD 140 Air is an extraordinary instrument microphone, condenser microphone. Of course he would say that he developed it. Oh, it's definitely. amazing! <laughs> it is amazing because it has two separate switchable sound characteristics. One being called Air and provides an, an open, refined, airy sound. Mm -hmm. And another one is the flat characteristic. And then it offers a flat frequency response for highly realistic audio images. So basically, the reason why we did this is because we discovered that in, in, in certain situations, you want to have a, a record ready, larger than life sound. And that's what the air setting delivers you. So that's a high frequency boost. It, uh, it's not really a boost because actually it's the acoustics which offer this frequency curve. Okay. So it's a really natural, um, it's a really natural high end, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Because I know on the on the Mark EQ4, mm -hmm. there's a, there's this amazing air band. They're calling it air, uh -huh. and that's adding high end. It's amazing. I mean, it really is. But there is there is no actual air that's added, people. That's it's not magic. It's frequencies, and it obviously makes sense to talk to the layman, which is you, you guys don't know shit, to talk in words like soft or round. If you say fre frequencies, they don't know. They're guitar players, what do they know? <laughs> so, for which guitar player is that good? That's okay, just w walk through. <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> we don't, you guys walk through. We don't mind. Or, are you standing there? You don't have to walk, you could stand over there if you want to stand over there. We leave all that stuff in. Um, so, <coughs> Frequency response. Frequency, who, no, what, what, what guitar player is that for? Well, Acoustics, a, obviously? A, acoustic guitar, string instruments, wind instruments, snare, all acoustic instruments, yeah. Overhead again. Overheads again, yeah. yeah. Now, my 340s don't have all these switches. Right. So it doesn't have the air technology. Yes, correct. So that makes this microphone really highly versatile. You have two different sound characteristics. But, 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 but my 340 is way more expensive than that. Well, your 340 is a whole different leak because it's a true condenser microphone. And it has... Um, and this is a fake condenser microphone? No, it's a, it's a back electric condenser phone. It's also a... Wait, wait, back that up. It's a water hooder water? It's a back electric condenser microphone. Um, so, a water something what? So you can imagine that the, 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 the capsule in there is permanently polarized. So there's an electronic charge in there. Yeah, okay. And therefore you have a permanent polarized capsule. Like where the penguins are. Penguins, mm, haven't oh, the seen polar them something. The polar penguins are also in there. In this one, actually, only one polar penguin, which is a cartridge pattern. Ah, yeah. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's polarized, and the 340 is a real microphone. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so the 340 is a what is it? A, a true condenser microphone. A true condenser. Or if you want an externally polarized microphone. This is a always polarized with penguins microphone and this one also yes yes just smaller both of them are yeah um which is a less expensive technology than a true condenser uh, i wouldn't uh, seem it less expensive it is it is also very good uh, technology it's actually you can receive the same transient responses with a, with a back electrode capsule and yes in in production it is it is not as costly as a true condenser okay because i'm i'm trying to find out how would i uh, how, how do I wrap my head around that that's about 100 this is 
under 200? 149. 149, and then yeah. the 340 is quite a bit more, almost 300, I think. Yeah, even more, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah 340 for, for the single one, and the double one, I think, is 699, and it comes with the bar and a case. Um, so, obviously, if you have the money, you would go for the big one, right? Yes. I, is there a reason that even though I have the money to go for this? Does that do something for me that where you, is there a situation where you would recommend the LCT 140R over the LCT 340? Well, actually it, it boils down to, to what sound characteristics you prefer. For example, the, the LCD 140R offers you two different sound characteristics. So it's a very flexible, highly versatile ah, okay. recording tool. Um, and yes, you can also achieve that with an LCD 340, for example, where you can have an omnidirectional capsule and a, and a cardioid capsule. But then again, there's no... Wait, there are different capsules for those? Yeah, there are also different capsules. Why doesn't for those? anyone tell me that? <laughs> I have all the same capsules. No one tells me that shit. Yeah, you, I tell you now, actually. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> They're so nice. See, I have four of those and all of them have the same capsule, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've got four cardioids. Okay, yeah, then it must be cardioids. I, yeah. I never saw that you can take that off. Yeah, you can, you can. Now I'm going to fiddle with my mics when I'm home. Um, the price point on this is amazing. 149 for this. This feels like a piece of cardboard. There's nothing. There's a big difference to the 340s. Because again, if you have a long boom arm, if you have like my Triad Orbit with a, with a really long boom and then put all the weight on it, that's putting stress on the OA, which is the ball head. This is nothing. Right, yeah. So it's really easy to position and to set it up. And that's why we opted for a CNC aluminum housing. You have to, Valerie, stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand in front of the camera. Oh, my hand? Your hand, yes. Turn it around. Can you see how light that is, people? Can you see that? The really tiny woman can hold the mic. <laughs> that is, this is how light that is. Wow. And it's only 149. That's pretty cool. And knowing Lewitt, it's going to be awesome. I mean, I have very, very nice mics at home. I have, well, the, the, the one that James Labrie sang through is my, my Blueberry from Blue. But I have a bottle, which is like five or 6,000 bucks. Um, it's in the case. Haven't used that. And I use my 640, LCT 640 TS. It's not on the level of the bottle. I'm not going to shit call anyone. It, call it twin system. It's easier to remember. Twin system. Yeah. That's why, yeah. Um, but I, I, I put people in front of that. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's, a, it's beautiful. It always works. Um, and the, oh, I can't for, the, the, the thing that's really impressive is the, I'll, I'll figure this out. Is it the 740, the handheld? It's a handheld true condenser microphone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I got yeah. I got two of these uh, for the live stream concerts. With I would love to use the, the 640 for everything, mm -hmm. but obviously you have way too much bleed when the drums are right behind it. Right. Yeah. And with the um with the 740, we had a lot of trouble doing these as interview mics because as soon as you step this far away from it, there's nothing in it. They are amazing to pretty much have no bleed. They will react when you're right here, where this is where you hear it. And if I'm back away like this, they don't record any of the band, which is for music amazing. But for two live streams, we tried to use them as yeah, it's probably not as, the, as talk the, mics. The best that was not a good idea yeah. because it just it took me two concerts to realize that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, now we have a better system. I'm going to use this on a cable or on something like this. Um, and we use the vocal mics for what they're made for, singing. But they're amazing for that because there's zero bleed. So if you have problems with bleed in your band, go for the MTP740 MTP CM or MTP940 CM. Why do all these companies really suck at naming products? <laughs> Call one the Valerie. Look, I can remember that. The or, Valerie, or the, yeah, yeah. the Frank. The Miss, Mr. Humboldt <laughs> okay. or something, but all the, I mean, no one can remember these names. Match doesn't help? Match helps. Match helps, Match helps okay. people. Cool. And air helps. Absolutely. So please continue that. All right. We will. Because that is a lot easier. So um, check these out. 
I'm pretty sure they'll send some over so we can maybe uh, do a little test with the 340 and this and this in front of, well, I'm going to say probably an acoustic guitar, maybe room mics for the, um, for like a guitar cab or something. Not when a drummer is over, that way I have to have a drummer over. And who wants drummers <laughs> at their place? Um, pretty awesome. Everything else here we've seen and we've talked about. And I can already see that Valerie's muscles are giving up because that camera is heavy. <laughs> so I'm going to say <laughs> thanks, Roman. Thank you. Um, check these out. And, uh, well, check out the live streams where we mic everything with Lewitt because it le rules. Animals at the end. <laughs>